Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com. And this time out, an issue I was having is when I was using Audio City or Auto City, um, my volume for my microphone kept going down. And for apparently no reason, just automatically going down on its own. So that's what we're going to discuss today. So if I go into this, and I'm kind of going to work backwards. So I'm going to show you the initial issue to fix it uh, in the beginning of this video. And I'm going to show you other things as well. And I have this headset on because uh, my other headset is kind of quonky uh, today. And I'll discuss that at the end, too, if you're having an issue with your microphone. That's kind of like a bonus, bonus content for you. So um, let's get into the here. Let's get into this. So what I'm talking about here is see right here how it went to 62 and it kind of did it all on its own. So we don't want that to happen, right? We don't want it to go down to 60. See, it went down to 79 now. So now it's just pissing me off. <laughs> so we can get to go, um, let me see here. I got this written down so I, I can remember. Okay, so if we go to Windows R and then we have um, our run window up there. So you can hit Windows R. You can go to the control panel, um, or I'm sorry, you can go to um, just hit run here, and it's the same thing. If you, if you type in run here and hit that, this will pop up as well. Same thing. Um, or if you go to, what is it, control D? Uh, I mean, Windows D. No, it's not Windows D. Windows V, Windows C, Windows X. Win <laughs> okay, if you go to Windows X, then this pops up. And then you can hit run. So there's three ways to get there. So my bad, my bad. All right. And I'm going to put this in the description. This is what you want to put uh, in your in this area here, in this box, and just hit enter. And then here we come up with our sound controls. So let's go back and see how we're doing here. Yeah, it's down to 49. And we don't want that. So I am going to go to the recording. And I am using this one right here. So I am right clicking on here. I'm going to hit properties. And then I'm going to go to advanced. And this says allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. So if this is checked, you're allowing it. So if that's checked like that, just uncheck it and put OK and put OK. So I also have Skype on here. So perhaps Skype is hijacking my audio. So that is all a possibility. So let's bring Skype up and look at that. If that hasn't, if that didn't fix your issue, then um, there might be a, a program on your computer that's causing the issue. And in this case, it could very possibly be Skype. So let's go into settings for Skype. Let's go to audio video. Oops. Hey, now. Get over there. Um, yep, audio and video scroll down a little bit. So automatically adjust, adjust microphone settings. I don't want that. All right. So I'm going to hit that. Go back here, bring this back up. All right, and then go here, and then we'll go back to where that control panel go. Did I close it? Yeah, we'll just go back again. So we'll hit run, just click on that once, go OK. All right, this is back up again. So we'll go back to recording, and just for poops and giggles, here's my Samsung right here. So I'm just going to, oops. Yeah, that's the issue that it's, that's happening is um, I'm having an issue with this mic. It keeps going on and off, but that's not initially what this video is for, but I'm going to add it in at the end. So you hit properties, you go to advanced. So if you want, um, if you don't want that automatically done on that particular device, you just click that, put apply, do OK. And I'm going to put apply and OK. I'm going to go back to this and see what the dealio is. Advanced. Okay, so that's not done. Okay. So let's go back here and see if anything has changed since we did that. Okay, it's still going down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of Skype. So um, just put an add here. You can go add, remove program. I don't like Skype. I only added it in here for um, this particular tutorial. You probably have to reboot the computer if you just did that for Skype and see if it works for you. Um, in this case, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to install um, or uninstall Skype because uh, I never use it. I don't particularly like it. And and uh, we'll go back to uh, where do I want to go here? Sound. There we go. 
All right, so Skype should be out of here. Yep, so Skype is gone. So let's see what happens. It's still going down. It's still lower and it's still lower. And so it might be something that's up that's lowering it. Let's reboot and then um, we'll take it from there. All right, gals and guys, so I did reboot and I played around a little bit and I found out um, exactly what the culprit was or who the culprit was, and it's my recording program. So my recording program here is um, hijacking my uh, volume control, my microphone control when I'm using it. So if I go into um, Auto City after I use this, Auto City will do the same thing. It will also lower the volume for me. Now I rebooted. It didn't bring up any browsers at all. I brought up Auto City. I yelled my stupid head off <laughs> into Auto City, um, made every sound imaginable, and it did not break the 100% the barrier. So this particular program here, this particular app, is taking over. Um, it's uh, awesome screen recorder and screenshot. I don't think when I used to use Loom and I should test it, it never did this. So once I used this and then used Auto City, then um, it would it would mess around with the volume. So I'll have to decide. I didn't see any type of options um, to where I could uh, have it not control the volume. Uh, I think it's it's just to regulate regulate the audio when you're when you're recording, so you're not too loud. I understand why it's doing it. Uh, but I don't see anywhere where I can turn it off. So it's my decision, okay, am I going to use another recording program because there's a million of them out there? Or do I just um, reboot every time I use this and then use all my other stuff um, for my audio? So that's a decision I'll have to make. It might not necessarily be this app. It could be it could be a multiple, multiple of factors. You know, it comes down to a science. That's basically what IT is, is trial and error. And that's all we did here today. I wanted to show you something else, too. If you ever wanted to uh, get into that sound mixer, uh, you just don't have to run that, um, that particular uh, run option that I gave you. You can go into your control panel and you can go to sound, if I can find it. And you can get in that way, too, just as a heads up. There's other things you can do. I mean, let's. I'll show you other stuff. It's not going to correct any type of issue that you're having, um, as far as the sound lowering. Um, so any any program that's updated, if you find that it wasn't doing it before, any program that you you've um, updated, any program you've added, search Google and um, put in like. Um, Skype lowering sound or something like that. Whatever, that's just an example. Whatever program you put in there, and uh, see if there's a way to turn that off on the program and the options or the settings, uh, which I showed you for Skype. But it was Skype wasn't the problem. It wasn't the issue. The only reason I did Skype is because I read online to that could be a possible issue for it. So, but I didn't have Skype installed anyways when I was doing this. So I was just trying it out. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, try um, if you've added anything, install it. See if that's that will work for you. Um, if there's any updates, if there's any program updates, uh, certainly you can install the program. See if that's corrected it for you, and reinstall it if that's not the issue. And um, it's trial and error. Do the steps that I showed you. You can do other things here. So you can go to um, let's go here and. Let's see. I don't want to do my headphones. So it says allow apps and Windows to use this device. So I clicked on this particular. I clicked on here. If but if you don't allow, then you're not gonna. It's not gonna be able to access it. So it's kind of stupid <laughs> to have this, right? But for any reason, you never want um, your system um, or anything. It says right here, allow apps and Windows to use this device for audio. You can put don't allow, but I don't know what else you would. I, I, I obviously right <laughs> if you're not allowing it's not going to work but it's there it's there i'm not sure for what particular um issue you would use it for but uh it's there and then you can also go to um is this one here yeah so you can go here and if i go to windows um oh that's because auto city isn't up there you can see um that it's using it the default device you can use for these particular programs and um, put in what you want so you can mess around with that if you want. You really don't have to do anything with that. And the only other thing I wanted to bring up because my microphone was not working. So that's where this whole mess started, I think. Um, and basically, so it's not the mic. And I actually had a separate cord. So I had a smaller cord than this that I tried. And it was doing the same thing. It just wasn't recording. It kept going offline. Um, 
and it was just a matter of wiggling. You can see the lights not, oh, now it's on. So, and you can see it's down here, but for some reason, if you ever have mic issues and it's not going to do it for me now, it's going to work fine. But this morning it was, it was driving me crazy. Oh, there it is. It's gone off. So if you ever have any mic issues like that for, especially if it's connected to USB, I could go and get, um, one of these, but I'd have to get a, some type of sound mixer. I don't think an adapter would fit from here to, to, into my computer, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure there's some type of sound mixer I can plug into and that goes into my computer, but, um, neither here nor there. So try to uh, try a new cord always to see if that's the issue. But really, I think it's the connection here um, to this because I just wiggle it and it comes up. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do to fix that. But if you're having microphone issues, that's why I got this old thing on about 20 bucks from Amazon. <laughs> Works OK, I guess. I think that's all I wanted to cover on this. I hope this helped you out. Again, it's going to be trial and error for this one, Gales and guys. Um, just do what you can, and if you have any questions, certainly put them down uh, in the comments and give me some specifics if you're having issues. Uh, that would help for me to, to help you. And uh, if you do come up against this and you find something else corrected it that I didn't um, bring up, certainly put that down uh, in the comments. And that's it, gals and guys. I appreciate you as always. Uh, got my Santa hat on, my lucky Santa hat, baby. The holidays are coming, so uh, please subscribe uh, to the channel. Please thumbs up, share if you if you must, and uh, hit the bell for updates. And I appreciate you as always getting to that 1,000 mark uh, as far as subscribers. So appreciate you all on there. If you subscribed in the past and if you can now, that would be perfectly awesome. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>